can't even see my face in the reflection Someone's there but it's not me It's the devil inside here so clearly I'm looking a little malnourished or something right now we're gonna have some fun with this Halloween transformation look I wanted to create a skeleton with part of the face that's been reattached you know cuz part of you is still hanging on to your glamorous side even though the rest of you is well if you like the music that you were hearing that's my new single the devil inside all info for that is on my channel. This look is actually easier to create than you might think. So let's get right to the tutorial. All right, let's do something to this naked, bald face of mine. We're gonna transform this and let's have some fun. So I'm gonna first start off by priming my eyelids. I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, taking it all the way up to the brow. Then I'm taking some concealer. This part is optional. My brows are obviously darker in color and so I wanna mask some of that color out. The easiest way is to do it with concealer because I'm gonna go over it with a purple gel liner I'm just penciling it in the way you ordinarily would do your brows with a natural color and instead we are making them purple now I am taking the NYX vivid brights purple uh, liquid liner and I'm just going to use this to clean up the edges of my brows to get some precision I'm also taking a lighter shade of purple here and I'm creating a gradient on the inside of my brows and then I'm gonna set it using this NYX ultimate palette using a dark and a light purple with the corresponding liquid colors that I placed down this is just giving us a nice festively colored purple brow. You can do any color that you want. Yes, jazz hands. All right, now I'm going to take a taupe shade and buff that right into the butt crack of my eyeball. You see that area? We're gonna carve out a crease and then I'm taking a dark purple shade and I am buffing that right under the butt crack and working it on the outer V. Then I grabbed a bright fuchsia color and I'm gonna pop that right in the center of my lid and work that all the way into the inner corner for some dimension. And then I have this beautiful shade. This is the NYX Mermaid eyeshadow. It's one of my favorites and I'm popping that right in my inner corner. And I'm gonna take some black. This is optional. I'm just using black on the outer V to kind of darken and deepen that little contour and create some more dimension there. And then I'm taking a nice uh, shimmery champagne color and I'm just gonna apply that on the brow to highlight it. Now, I like to go in with a makeup wipe to just kind of clean up the edges of the shadow. It makes it much easier for when you go and lay in your liner later. Grab your favorite foundation, shake it like you're paying your rent, girl, and apply that all to your face. Get down with it, sing a little song, you know the drill. This is the moment when I realized I got a bug bite right on my shoulder. Those mosquitoes were coming for me, I'm telling you. All right, I'm applying concealer in the usual spots under the eyes, the nose, the forehead, buffing it out with my beauty blender, yeah. And uh, I'm gonna set that with this Laura Mercier translucent powder. You can bake if you want. I just kind of set the concealer there and went along with it. We are almost done, a Vogue session. All right, let's grab some gel eyeliner. I'm using the color Swerve by ColourPop and a brush and I'm just going to do a nice little flick of the wing flick of the flick of the wing I'm also applying some of that purple eyeshadow underneath on my lower lid and finishing the liner off lining the complete lower lid as well as my waterline because we want to get that drama I'm also extending the inner corner of my eye downward that just makes your eyes appear a little bit wider a little more exotic if you will I'm applying some mascara and falsies to my upper lashes as well as mascara to the lowers and you're done 
with the eyeballs. No more bald eyeballs. Now, take a flesh colored pencil because we are gonna move on to the face mask. I'm just tracing out the basic shape of the mask. I did start drawing some of the jawline, so just ignore that because I just wind up painting over it later. Um, you're basically just kind of creating a spider web looking shape with points. You can do as many of them as you want. That's gonna determine how many hooks you create. I grabbed this Mayron white face paint and I'm just going to go ahead and take a smaller brush to get the edges and then fill it out with a broad flat brush and then I like to take a little bit of HD setting powder just to set that face paint so it doesn't smudge or smear as we continue to work and I am grabbing now a black eye shadow and I'm going to start tracing out the width of the mouth and starting to define the teeth. I'm just doing this by drawing um, vertical lines up and down along those uh, horizontal lines that I created. You can do as many teeth, as few teeth, make them as big, as small as you want. And now I'm gonna carve out that inner jaw part. It's my cell phone decided that it needed to beep when I was saying that. Let me put it on silent. All right, so I'm just creating, it's basically like a C shape for the draw. I'm gonna darken the inner portion of my lips to get that, you know, very deathly looking look. And then I'm creating the tops of my teeth. I basically call these like um, milk bottle tops. Um, it's just basically creating curved lines extending from those uh, first vertical lines that we created. And then I just like to go and shade them and buff them out. Now, what I am doing is creating the shading for the jaw there. I don't really use a whole lot of product to do this. I just take some shadow, carved out the edges of that C shape, and then kind of created a gradient shape outwards. I'm also tracing off the nose there, getting the initial shape, and then I'm gonna create some folds in the jawline, if you will, create some shadows and shading. This will help uh, with some dimension. You can do as many uh, different kinds of lines and placement as you want to, and I just use the flat side of an angle brush to create the shading. Now I'm gonna go ahead and paint the rest of my face with that face paint all the way up to the hairline and I grabbed a purple shadow and I'm going to start placing this underneath that face mask shape that we created. This is going to give it that 3D look by creating shadows underneath where it looks like the mask was attached. I'm also deepening the shadows by placing just a little bit of black over the top of the purple. I'm also filling up that nose shape. And here is the fun part. This is where we create the folds. I call these like crow's feet. I'm basically just making about three to four lines that all come to one point where the face mask comes to a point. And this is gonna create the illusion of folds in your skin. I took some white shadow also to highlight around those lines and then some purple shadow uh, just at the points to create the illusion of where the hole's gonna go. And we're almost done. Now I'm creating some holes where the hooks would go using a black felt tip liner and taking a white liquid liner, I'm just gonna draw little half C shapes and that's going to be our hooks. It's literally that simple to do, but the effect is so amazing. So just lather, rinse, repeat this entire process for all of the places that you created for your hooks and attach that face, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna take this one step further, you can draw some vertebra. I just did some like half circles. I mean, there's not like rocket science to this, so you can get really creative, fill it in with the black, and boom, you are done. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you are new so that you can be updated when I put up new videos. Let me know, what are you guys gonna be for Halloween? I want to hear all about it. All right, I love you Valentines and I will see you in the next video. I'm gonna jump on over there right now. So meet me over there, all right? Smooches, bye. Look at my bones, my skeleton holographic dancing bones, yeah. It's the devil inside.